Robert Dawson with Seacat Boat. Today I'd like to take you through the new 260 Hybrid. I'd like to show you the bow of this boat. It has a ton of storage in it. There's three big lockers for it. There's two lockers in the middle that double as seats and also as rod lockers. And as you can see, this particular boat has a Minn Kota trolling motor. The way it's assembled and mounted on the boat, it does not restrict the use of any of the boxes. A few of the things I'd like to show you today is the double step system that we've got for the forward step. And also in that step system, we've got a box, also known as a captain's box, with Jim Lux hardware, overboard drains. It's insulated, you can put your lunch, few drinks, or I like to use it for dock lines. One of the things I'd like to show you is this big Ford fish box. We use gas hinges, and then you've also got a set of boxes aft on the side. All three of these are gas shock hinged, and they're done with Jim Lux recessed friction hinges. Really nice feature on this boat is the big, large, huge fish boxes. They're seven foot long. We put hydraulic rams on both ends. In this box, there's an option for rod holders on either side, so you could have your rod storable in here and lockable. On the other side, we can put a dam and shorten the box down so you don't have to try to ice the whole box. But this is nice for the guys that tuna fish, stored fish, and the next day they go trout and redfish, and they've got a box to actually put a fish at. On the back of this boat, we've got a set of 300 Suzuki's. This is the ideal setup for this boat. It's weighted correctly, and the fuel economy on these motors are absolutely phenomenal. We found that you get better fuel economy on this boat with the 300s than we actually do on the same boat with a set of 200s. At 38 miles an hour, at 3,900 RPMs, gets 2.1 miles per gallon. One of the neat features we have on the boat is the removable backrest. If the guys are going fishing, you take all of this, you put it in the garage, done. You got a real clean boat with a ton of storage. Under here, you've got a set of rod holders and again, a huge storage box. As you come up into the dash, you've got two stainless drain overboard drink holders. You'll see the wet sound head unit. You've got the Suzuki keypad start, stop. We run twin motors off of one key and C-Star Optimus 360 for our helm system is mounted right here. For our switches, we chose Boca switches. They're the best switches on the market today. And this particular unit has a set of Garmin 8612s flush mounted into the dash. Also, we have a USB port and an iPod plug. This is our battery system down here. We use a four switch panel, which is readily accessible. You've got a house battery switch, and then you've got a separated switch for both batteries. You've also got a jump switch that you can throw batteries back and forth. At any given time, I can push power either way, or I can utilize them all on one. One of the nice things I'd like to show you here is the inside of the console. In here, you have your fresh water wash down, you have your charging system for the battery, you have three batteries for your forward trolling motor, and you have our wiring system with all the breakers and tie-ins. If you notice, everything's got its own place, and the one thing that we do is we give you a schematic with every boat that you know what the front side of the wire does and the back side, so you're not trying to trace down wires and figure out what's what.